We have a question from Dirk Koenigs. Dave, what's the importance of free sag? Some people say it's better to run a stiffer spring with less preload, i.e. 10 millimeters instead of 20 millimeters to achieve better free sag numbers. How does free sag influence the riding experience? Good question, Dirk. Thank you very much for that. Free sag, well, for those that don't know what it is, free sag is when you take the back of the bike and you pick it up to top out the rear shock. If you can't top the rear shock out, that means that the tension on the spring is automatically topping the shock out. So you should have some free sag. Now, let's segue off a little bit here in rear shock construction. Some rear shocks have a top out spring installed internally so that no matter what you do with spring tension, by and large, you will always have free sag. So you need to figure out, does your shock have a top out spring or does it not? If it does have a top out spring, then as I said, you'll be able to pick it up. You'll squish the top out spring basically flat and then the bike will sit back down. So that would be your free sag. Now, if you have no top out spring, then what we're talking about here in regards to Dirk's question is that you need to be able to pick the bike up a little bit. And usually the rule of thumb is five to 10 millimeters. So if that's the case, then you need to soften the preload to get the free sag. Sometimes that's called static sag, which is where the bike is sitting under its own weight. So don't get confused between those two terms either. They mean essentially the same thing. So moving on. If you set your free sag correctly, say it's five to 10 millimeters, you sit on the bike and your sag number is 40 millimeters, then when you run out of free sag and you still not getting the right sag number you're looking for, you have to go to a stiffer spring, which comes back to Dirk's question, is it better to go with a stiffer spring and have the correct free sag? And the answer to that, for the most part, is yes, it is. Now, obviously that depends upon the application that you're using the motorcycle for. That train of thought certainly applies when you get to the track. You want to have the right spring to make the fork and the shock ride in the correct zone. And you'll use the correct strength spring to make that happen because then your free sag will remain pretty much constant. Having said that, Obviously, you can go too stiff in the spring or you could be too soft. So there are a range of springs available and made by manufacturers so that you can select an appropriate spring. And remember, as always with suspension, this is all a compromise. To get something, you're gonna give something up. So to get the right sag number in terms of free sag and you're ending up with quite a stiff spring, does that give you a harsh ride? If so, are you willing to go a little bit softer, maybe run a little less free sag to get a more comfortable ride? So what are you willing to live with? And again, it also comes back to the application. If you're commuting, then you'll live with a softer spring with a little less free sag because you're on the bike all the time and you want to be comfortable. If you're up on the twisties on the weekend and you're riding a little bit aggressively, then maybe you're leaning towards a harder spring to absorb the impact and the forces that you're putting through the suspension while you're riding aggressively. And then obviously if you go to the track, then you want to go with the stiffer spring because the cornering forces, the G loads, are way more substantial than you could ever generate on the street. And so that makes sense. So Dirk, in answer to your question, yes, but realize the limitations of what you're doing. You are gonna sacrifice some level of comfort in terms of the ride quality, but on the other hand, you're gonna get a mathematical number you are seeking. Decide which way you want to go, because ultimately it's your bike, it has to perform the way you want it to, and you have to be comfortable when you ride that bike. If you have questions for me, please send them to Dave Moss Tuning via Facebook, or alternatively, leave them here on YouTube at Catalyst Reaction SBW. Thanks very much.